Hello and welcome to another Raggies um, review. So today it's a pub review. It's the Vat and Fiddle Castle Rock Breweries Tap. Um, I've got a video from the outside, so that was yesterday. Sat on the outside. We won't sat it if we sat inside. I did it inside, but I didn't want to take a video of the bar. It's, you know, it's not. It's not good. I don't like to do it for the staff's sake. But there you can see. There's the outside. There's Keith, and then Keith. Um, but yeah. It's the next door to the brewery, connected to the brewery. Um, it's where the Castle Rock Yard Party is going to be this week. So I'm going down on the Friday. And uh, if anybody sees me, get some food down your aggie. Yeah. <laughs> I need nannies. I need people to nanny me into eating food and not drinking too much. But in any case... Uh, got down there, cracking range. You got, you got your you got your core, Castle Watt beers on the bar. Um, you've got uh, other cask, special cask that's there. It's a big wrap around bar, massive seating area at the back that overlooks the brewery. You know, which is great. You know, if you, you know if you're a bit of a beer a fan sort of thing, take your video a photo with the back of the brewery. Uh, we were sat on the front. Um, Yesterday, I had uh, Castle Rock Brewery's um, Majesty, Your Majesty, and um, Ankle Biter, the ESB, the Salt Beer Factory collab. Both were tasting really good. Separate reviews, as always, coming on the channel of those. Uh, the seating area outside, it's nice actually, because you in the sun yesterday, it was lovely. I mean, I got there just after half 11 and because of the county game it was rammed uh, outside and inside and i looked and i thought i'm not going in there <laughs> so I got, walked up the road to the barley twist but there's a separate video for that and uh, yeah we had our first beers there uh we we're on the rag the raggy stag do um uh, on the bar they had troubles on cask so i think the cask had just about come to the end of its life because uh, our friend had it. It tasted amazing, but it looked a bit cloudy, uh, which is not usual for Castle Rock. Uh, unless it is a cloudy beer, obviously. But um, this was a bit overly cloudy. But, um, but uh, yeah, staff were well-mannered, lovely. You know, there was quite a few of them on. I think that's because of the football. Um, and, uh, yeah, good range of keg. Uh, what I can remember, there was Lenton Lane, Bang the Elephant was on. Uh, Pentridge was on as well as the Troubles. I think there might have been a Troubles on keg as well, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, big beer drinking day yesterday, so wasn't in my best beer spotting form yesterday. But yeah, as as it goes, um, Bat and Fiddle, fantastic place to go. Literally a stone's throw from Nottingham train station, so um. It's very easy to get to the back end of Broad Marsh if you, if you know Nottingham in a different perspective. You've got a lot of Castle Rock Brewery pubs in that little area because you've got Vat and Fiddle, Barley Twist, Canal Side, and literally up and around the corner you've got News House. So yeah, it's quite the uh, quite the area for Castle Rock. It's not too far to have the beers delivered either, I suppose. I suppose you could walk up the road there are casks, but uh, to the others, but um, but yeah. An amazing must visit uh, pub if you come into Nottingham. You know, Castle Rock Brewery, uh, biggest brewery in Nottingham. Um, I like where they're going, you know, and obviously, I'm not, God, not, I'm talking about the pub rather than the brewery, so I've got to be careful there. But anyway, the pub itself, yeah, the outdoor seating around the back, good for events when they have events. You've got the old cold store, which they do do events in. Um, Comedy nights, all sorts of music events going off. And coming this Friday, they've got the Castle Rock Yard Party. I went last year. I was amazed at how good it was. It, it, put, it puts Castle Rock on the map. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of years where I, I, I drank beer, but I certainly didn't go down into Nottingham. And I certainly wasn't a beer reviewer. No, for, beer reviewer, for that word. Uh... But going down, and certainly a promoter of Nottingham, you know, Nottingham pubs and breweries and, and beer across the world, you know, nation. But, um, yeah, if you can this Friday and Saturday, 
if you ain't got a ticket, get yourself a ticket, because I tell you what, we went last year, it was amazing. This year, they've listened to uh, the public. I wish I'd have bought my ticket from the actual uh, pubs instead of uh, online, because I hate paying fees to these um, online fit ticket people, because you pay a fee and that, they're getting the money. I'd rather the money go straight to the brewery. At no stage of the game do I like giving uh, online sales my money. Uh, but hey ho, next year I'll know that um, and I'll get a ticket, get tickets literally a few days before if need be. Uh, but hopefully the Castle Rock will do this. So they're doing a thing at the moment where you can win a gold ticket, you win 35 quid. Had I, had I not got my tickets, I might have partaked in that. But hey ho, you know, live and learn. Um, but uh, yeah. An amazing event coming up this week. Vat and Fiddle, like I say, must visit pub on Nottingham Agenda. Uh, it's got lager in there. They've actually got a new Castle Rock lager that's been done with Freedom Brewery. Uh, I didn't actually have that the other day, yesterday because literally we're trying to get to so many pubs, do, do a bit in each pub and uh, and then I got drunk and uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't eat. Yeah, oh well, these things happen, don't they? Yeah. If anybody watching my videos, please eat and drink water. And then you can be in the pubs longer and enjoy yourself. And and then spend probably a bit more money, I know, which is all good for the pubs. And good for yourself as well. No worse than going home and uh, being drunk. But in any case, uh, yeah, that's my review of Fat and Fiddle. Must visit place. Gotta go. Cheers all. Castle Rock Yard Party this week as well. If you can do, go down. I'm there on Friday. Uh, I'm not sure what time, probably about three or four o'clock, as soon as it opens, hopefully. And I'll send my mate a ticket so he can get in as well. Um, and I shall do a few beer reviews, get something, and then probably do some, sh get some glasses and see if I can share a glass. Or if I can bring a glass. I've had to contact somebody beforehand and see if I can actually bring a, a gla my own glass into the event. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, because... Uh, not all the times can I do, I can't drink that much anyway, but yeah, that's interesting. Mm. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you soon.